Hello fellow Wastelanders, welcome to the Starlight Drive-In. I've built an arena for the tests and have two settlers standing by to help, Green Hat and the Colonel. Both have pipe pistols, 38 caliber ammo, and plasma ammo. The workshop is in the blockhouse I built for a gunner farm that used to be here, but I'll cover that later. Let's get right into the first test, which is just plasma pistols sitting in the open. In a moment, I'm going to spawn a gunner on the other side of the arena, and we'll see how the settlers react. I don't know why Green Hat passes up one pistol and takes the other, but they each get one and the fight is on. God, look at all that blood. Next up, we have a cabinet and a bureau, each with a plasma pistol inside. Over here. The colonel got her weapon, and Green Hat got one as well. This test will be of safes. He vanished. They both make a withdrawal and then show the gunner they're not to be messed with. That's Commonwealth justice for you. We're going to leave the safes in place and put cabinets over the top of them to see if that makes a difference. That didn't slow him down a bit, did it? Glad that's over. I'm going to use the safes one more time, but I'll lock them with a console command. To do that, I open the console, click on the safe, then enter the word lock, and do the same for the other one. Neither got a weapon out, and for some reason they haven't switched to their pipe pistols. It takes almost two minutes for them to finish the fight, and they never did go back to the safe to get a plasma pistol. Glad that's over. Now we go back to the safes and unlock them to make sure the weapons are still there. This time is just going to be a simple concrete box. A small concrete floor surrounded by half walls, but no top. After a long fight, they got separated enough to lose sight of each other, and the fight ended. Next on the schedule are armor racks. They both went by without getting a weapon and never went back. God, look at all that blood. Weapon racks this time. Notice that the pistol is still on the left rack, so Green Hat didn't get one. God, look at all that blood. Heavy weapons this time. The settlers didn't have missiles, so I added four, even though they really only need one. Huh? 
Huh? Found you. Well, that didn't take long, did it? For the last buildable items, we have two display cases. God, look at all that blood. I wanted to finish by showing the settlers taking weapons from the workshop, so I removed the concrete wall over the door. The entrance is elevated because it used to be attached to an elevator to the gunner farm, so I added ladders for the settlers to climb up there. No matter what I tried, I couldn't get them to go in. I don't know if it was the ladders, or maybe the fact that the workshop itself is inside a building of its own, or something else entirely, so I opened up the workshop to make it easy for them. They still wouldn't go in. Only after I moved their guard posts as close to the workshop as I could get them did they start going in most of the time. For this segment, I decided not to edit out the console commands I've been using in case some of you wonder how it's done. I have to be out of sight of the gunners so they won't be shooting at me. That does not make for steady camera work. The colonel got stuck in the corner. She finally got him. I want to trade a few things. Sure thing. Green Hat took two Goss rifles and nine miniguns out of my workshop. Yeah. Just looking to trade a little. Okay. The Colonel got fourteen regular miniguns and a legendary minigun. That's two settlers in one fight who took twenty-six weapons. So we found out that weapons in the open, containers, safes, a safe under a cabinet, weapon racks, display cases, and the workshop are not secure. We did find that console lock safes, concrete boxes, and armor racks will securely hold your weapons. If you think of something else you'd like to see tested, please leave a comment below, and if I get enough suggestions, I'll make another video. If you liked the show, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks and good night.